Well, we've had uh, a lot of that already. Welcome back to Rochester High School. We're moments away from uh, kick the, kicking this one off. The Rochester Zebras and the Jimtown Jimmies in the middle of the field with a coin toss. And uh, we'll let you know here shortly uh, what's going on. Again, game time temperature right now about 35 degrees. we got a uh, west uh, northwest wind of about to 20 to 25 and gusts of about 40 to 50. Uh, so it'll be interesting it, to say the least. It, it'll be interesting. The crowd, for as bad as it is right now, the Zebra crowd, not bad. Jimmy's brought a nice following as well. So, you know, what else you got to do on a cold, miserable <laughs> night? Not listen to us. The Rochester Zebras won the toss. They, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of people listening to us <laughs> tonight. Good or bad, that's all you get. It is uh, Halloween. <laughs> the Zebras <laughs> won the uh, toss. They have elected to defer, which means the Jimtown Jimmies and the sophomore quarterback, Sam Pollock, will get the football first here at Rochester High School. Again, the going, they, Jimtown will be going to the, the wind, east, so they will have that win kind of at their back. So the Jimtown Jimmies 7-3, the Rochester Zebras 9-1. The winner of this game will be in the championship next week at 7-30. Uh, again, a couple of the other games we're going to be following tonight. The Winnemac Warriors rated number one in Class 1A, playing number three Whiting. We'll get that one. Of course, we'll get the Academy and Peru game as well. Mike Zayner, Brad Weaver, shorts, shorts and a t-shirt or a shorts and a polo. And, and Garrett Shane, the only one without an undershirt on. She. And the Jimtown Jimmies, they are in shorts as well. Just a fuzz smarter than Zayner. <laughs> They're all in long sleeve shirts. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. I got we four expect pair of clothes on sitting in the press box, and I'm still shivering. Right on. With this, the heat on. Yeah. This Carhartt's the best jacket I've ever bought. <laughs> so Wilson Lee uh, kicking off a little bit, uh, kicking off before the uh, game started, kicking very well into the wind, and he's going to get at his opportunity here. Back deep is Mason Castro for Jimtown and also Nick Olson. Nick Olson approaching 1,100 yards rushing this year for the Jimtown Jimmies. He'll start as a tailback in that offense. So here we go, the semifinal round of the Class 3A sectional underway as Wilson Lee approaches it, puts a right foot in into it, it's a short end over end kick, taken at the 30-yard uh, line, now the 35, gets a wall to the uh, 38, and is hogtied at the 39-yard line, so that's where Jimtown will start at their own 39 here on the near hash, going to our right, which is kind of with the wind. The wind uh, blowing straight out of the north is with the wind, it's kind of a crosswind at times out of the northwest. Just it's going to be easy to spot Stan Pollock tonight, 6'3", and wearing pink. Yep, pink around the top of his shoes, you're right. The Jimtown Jimmies in gold pants, white shirts, maroon numbers, gold helmets. The Rochester Zebras, black pants, black shirts, gold numbers, and black helmets. The Jimtown Jimmies on the ball. Hobbs comes in wide to the near side. They've got the flanker to the left is Lundy. Tailbacks is Olsen, and the fullback tonight is Kenny Kern. Under center is Pollock. On first and 10, takes a snap, gets a turn right up the middle, and Kern pushes a pile ahead to about the 44-yard line. Kyle McLaughlin laying on the ground, the hold of the jersey holding him up for the rest of the Zebras. Connor McLaughlin coming into the season, Trav, leading the Zebras in tackling. Yeah, he has 101 total tackles, 50 solo, and 103 assists. Two sacks, so he's having a heck of a year. A four-yard gain for the fullback and the sophomore, Kenny Kern, to bring up second down and six with 11.27 to play in the first quarter. Jim Town approaching their second play here on this series. Wide out to the near side. Goldegger, high backs for Pollock. Pollock takes a snap, gives to Olsen going left. Olsen runs away from the defense, cuts it back inside of the 50, down to Rochester territory, down to around the 47-yard line. And that'll be a first down for the Jimtown Jimmies. Olsen cut inside the end, Schaefer, and managed to get into the secondary. How to shell from the left side of the defense made the tackle on the right yep. side. Ball the far hash, which is the Jimtown sideline. Again, the Jimmies going to our right. Wide to the near side is Grove for the Jimmies. I backs again for Pollock. Pollock looking at the uh, time, the game clock, the uh, play clock, down to five, sets the line, takes a snap, gives to Olsen going right. Olsen shakes two tacklers at the line of scrimmage, and then finally Brett Abbott brings him down shy of the Rochester 40. That's not an easy thing to do to shake Wes Beck off coming yeah. around the corner, but he did. So he takes it out to the 41-yard line of the Rochester Zebras. A pickup of about six yards. It'll be second down and four with 10-20 to play in the first quarter. The Jimtown Jimmies now in the near hash, the Rochester sideline. 
Jimtown breaks the huddle to send Hobbs wide to the near side. Gill tight left. Flanker to the left side is Lundy. Eye backs formation for Pollock. Pollock sets the line under center on second and four. Takes a snap. Hands off to the fullback, Kern. And Kenny Kern pushes ahead to uh, shy of about a yard as he gets inside the 40 to the 38. It'll be third down and one for the Jimmies. It's been nothing unexpected so far for the Jimmies. Four runs, three of them right up the middle. I mean, yeah. That's what we that's what we talked about all pregame. That's what they've done so far tonight. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that uh, they wouldn't be in the same situation if they didn't just <laughs> tell Rochester what was coming. Right now they're blowing Rochester yeah. off the line. Well, we see this week after week where the Rochester defense bends, bends, bends for three quarters. And now they'll go to a two tight end straight T-sec will the Jimtown Jimmies on third and one from the 38. Pollock gives to Olsen. Olsen's got the first down as he pushes his way inside the Rochester 35 down to around the 30 four-yard line. That'll be first down for the Jimtown Jimmies. I think that's the first time we've seen that three-back set since, well, yep. us. Yeah. <laughs> We're the only ones I've seen to do it this year. First and ten for Jimtown at the Rochester 34-yard line. Again, the Jimmies going to our right. Ball basically in the middle of the field. In the huddle are the Jimtown Jimmies. They'll break the huddle. They'll send uh, Hobbs uh, make that gill tight to the uh, right side. Hobbs tight left. They're going to go straight tee again for Jimtown. Pollock under center takes a snap, gives to the fullback Kern, and Kenny Kern off the left side of the line gets maybe a yard. It'll be second and ten. As the clock rolls with 8:50 to play in the first quarter, no score, but the first series of the game, Jimtown right now deep into Rochester territory. It'll be second and nine. Wilson Lee for the Zebras on the tackle. Kern got just a yard that time, so uh, Hobbs will come wide to the near side. Goldegger wide left. Split backs now for Paulson. Paulson under center. Takes a snap. Back to pass. Looks left. Throws left. It is, com it is complete to Goldacre. Goldacre carries it near to the, to the Rochester 26. And that'll be close to another Jimtown first down as that thing hit him between the numbers. And he bobbled it a couple of times and finally grabbed it before turning up field. He's going to be shy of a first down of about two yards. It'll be second and two at the Rochester 26-yard line. Well, again, we, we said if they were going to throw it, they were going to be the short end. In routes. And that's exactly and what, that's that, what was. that was. You're right. Third and two. They'll go back to the two tight end set. Will the Jimmies? Three backs in the backfield in the straight tee. Third and two from the Rochester 26. Pollock under center with two tight ends. Takes the snap. And Olsen slips down behind the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose a yard. It'll be fourth and three. That's a, that's a big help for the Zebras there because that left side of the line was open again. Yeah. The battle of the trenches right now, it's not much of a battle. Jimtown Jimmies are getting what they want. Well, you're still going to see Jimtown go for it on fourth down here. I'm not even sure you go away from that straight tee look. No, you just keep right on pounding it. They've, they've gotten the... Out, you know, take that play off the board, and they've got no less than four yards yeah. to run. They'll come back with two tight ends. It'll be a straight tee backfield again. Fourth and three for Jimtown at the Rochester 27-yard line. Paulson flips it out to the near side. Kern is hit, and he's going to – oh, second oh. Edwards is going to get him the first down. Wow. Rochester had him twice behind the line of scrimmage. He slips the tackle of McLaughlin and Abbott, and second effort gets him inside the 25, down to around the 23, and it's Jimmy's first down. Well, that was a great hard run by Olsen. Again, he was stopped. Yeah, both uh, Hattishell and Abbott made hits on him behind the line of scrimmage and had him stopped short, but he managed to squeak free and get just enough. First and 10 for the Jimmy's at the Rochester 23-yard line, going to our right. 7.45 to play. Make that 6.45 to play in the first quarter. High backs again. Goldager goes off the left side, pushes a pile ahead to about the 20. Uh, he might have been cut down shy of the 20, but he's going to get about three yards. It'll be second down and seven. Goldacre that time with the flanker on the right side, took the handoff and went left. And it'll be second down and seven after about a three-yard gain for Jimtown. Ball in the middle of the field. Still a nice breeze out of the northwest. They'll send Hobbs wide to the left side. Tight right is Gill. Split backs now for Pollock. Pollock under center. Lundy the flanker to the left. Pitches out to Olsen going left. He's got some blockers. Olsen looking to get outside, and he's going to be brought down right at the 20-yard line, a pickup of maybe a yard or a, foot, a couple of feet. Great job by 
Josh, uh, Jordan, 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 I mean, Schaefer on that end position got out behind the block and came in from behind to tackle Olsen. For nothing. There's the goal run. And then nothing on the uh, pickup. It'll be third and seven for the Jimtown Jimmies at the Rochester 20-yard line. 5.25 to play in the first quarter. No score here at uh, Barnhart Field. Ball in the far hash. Jimtown's been getting a lot of time in the huddle. They'll break the huddle with seven on the play clock. The sophomore quarterback, Pollock, under center with three, with two, with one. You can reach to my line. And just gets it off before zero. Back to passes Pollock. Throws to the near side is complete. And Kern Falls grabs down. the uh, pass inside the 20, takes it down to the 18. It'll be fourth down and about five for the Jimtown Jimmies. And I'm not sure how he caught that. I thought he went right through his hands, but he did a good job grabbing the football a second time. That's the second time we saw a receiver bobble the football. And it'll be fourth down and five for Jimtown to the Rochester 18-yard line. Well, can you expect another pass here then? Absolutely. Five? Well, I don't know. You almost have to. Hobbs goes wide to the left side. The tight end right is Gill. We're down to eight on the play clock. Eye backs for Pollock. Flanker to the right is Lundy. Down to three. Down to two. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Looks left. Throws left. It is complete to Hobbs. Then he loses the football. And then the Zebras fall on it. They take it. We're on the fumble recovery. Tanner Music falls on the loose football, picks it up, and the Zebras take over inside the 10. Was that Abbott on the initial tackle that caused, the, caused the fumble? And then Music right there to to jump on it. First and 10 for the Zebras after the fumble and the recovery by Tanner Music. It'll be first down for Rochester at their five. Fantastic. There's that bend and don't break mentality for the Rochester defense. 427 to play in the first quarter. Rochester starts their first uh, series of the game at their own five. Bennett comes wide to the near side. Flanker to the right is Hecathorn. Split backs for hunting. John under center. At the five, Hecathorn comes in motion. Fakes pitch out to him. Gives it to Westbeck right up the middle. Not a lot there. Maybe the six. It'll be second down and nine. 4.15 to play. In the first quarter, no score. For the Rochester offense. And to Westbeck, I believe, with that carry. Got to, man, I'm not sure they're going to get a couple give of feet. Half, maybe Half a foot. Give, it, give him one. I gave him one. <laughs> so Kissler brings a play in from the sideline. And again, the Zebras moving into the win. Yeah, that's a good if, point. If there is any into, it's it would be going to the west. Second down and nine for the Zebras. Bennett wide to the near side. Flanker to the right is Hecathorn. Down to five on the play clock. Split backs again for Hunting. Hunting pitches out to Beck. Wes Beck lowers his head. Falls across the 10. Gets to the 11. And that'll bring up third down at about five for the uh, Rochester Zebras. As they started this drive at about the five-yard line, it'll be third and five, and a big third down play as it sets at about the 10-and-a-half-yard line, shy yeah, of the you 11. Really, you really don't want to have to punt down this end oh. of the football field into that win. Yeah, I agree. This is a big third down for Rochester. 3.25 to play in the first quarter. No score. Uh, 12 seconds to uh, go yet on the play clock. The play just does come in from the sideline, and Rochester's going to have to hurry. Down to six. Bennett wide to the near side. Down to four. Down to three down to two. Quick snap. On the end of round gets to Hattashell. Hattashell then hit and dropped in the backfield. He's going to lose yards. He's going to lose about five. It'll be fourth down and ten uh, at about the six-yard line. They tried to run that counter back to uh, Hattashell, and the whole left side of the line just kind of broke down. Jimtown standing there waiting on him with three guys. This will be very interesting. He loses four on the play. It'll be fourth and nine. 2.45 to play in the first quarter. Rochester's going to have to punt. Back from his end zone. Back, yeah, in the end zone is West Beck, about five yards deep into the end zone. And Gold Digger's only on the 37 with a, yard line. Yeah. With a 25 mile an hour wind in his face. Wow. So Beck gets the snap. Here comes some pressure. Gets it away. It hangs up into that wind. Push it near the sideline. It takes the bounce at the 31 and goes out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. So Jimtown will take over. We're going to get it right back almost where they lost it. Well, <laughs> Just about 10 yards back from where they lost it. So it'll be first and 10 for the Jimmies at Rochester's 33-yard line going to our right. Probably would have been a pretty good uh, pretty good punt in normal playing conditions, but with that 20-mile-an-hour wind out of the northwest pushed it to the Rochester sideline. And that's where Jimtown will start here on their second series. First down and 10 at the Rochester 33. Hobbs goes split left. Gill is tight right for Jimtown. Olsen dots the eye for Paul Pollock. 
Pollock sets the line with nine on the play clock. Gives to Kern right up the middle. Kern, the sophomore off to the races, tries to pop it to the outside. Gets it inside the Rochester 20 down to the 19. First and 10 for Jimtown. Actually giving the 20. It'll be a 13-yard gain for the sophomore Kenny Kern and a Jimtown first down. That easy, just like the first possession for Jimtown. They were rolling until the turnover. I mean, they had three or four right up the middle, a couple outside, a couple completions on the uh, from the passing. So the zebra line has to get a little push up there if they yeah. want to be able to stop Jimtown right here. Hobbs and Goldacre go wide to the left side. Twins for the uh, Jimtown Jimmies. Eye backs for Pollock. Pollock gives the carry to Kern. Kern drags the zebras inside the 15-yard line to the 14. And as Kern hits the ground, he coughs up the football, but they're going to say he's going to be down. They're going to whistle him down. And it'll be second down and five after a five-yard gain by Kern. We're down to a minute 35 to play in the first quarter here at Rochester. No score, but once again, Jimtown knocking on the door. Uh, Rochester's had the ball for a total of what, three plays? You're right. That's exactly right. Probably less than a minute in time of possession. Hobbs comes wide right. Gill is tight left. Goldager wide to the right side as well in the slot. On second and five. The carry goes to Olsen. Olsen right at the middle. He's got a first down to the 10. The five cuts it back inside looking for touchdown. the end zone. Touchdown, Jimtown. Nick Olsen's. Nick Olsen's carries it in from 20 yards. Uh, make that from 16 yards out. And the Jimtown Jimmies are on the board with a minute 13 to play in the first quarter. And the Jimtown touchdown sponsored well, by... Well, right up the middle. He broke it to the outside and uh, was able to find his way to the end zone. Rochester defense caught standing as the ball was snapped, I think. It just couldn't get their pursuit in that direction. Jimtown will attempt the extra point. Nick Heck on to try the extra point out of the hold of Kenny Kern. Heck, 16 out of 20. So Nick Heck will be a straight-on kicker. Snap his back, hold his down, kick his away, and it's a knuckleball that goes through the upright. 7-0 Jimtown. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. A minute 13 to play in the first quarter. The Jimtown Jimmies strike first. Three plays, 30 yards, capped off by a Nick Olson 16-yard touchdown run. The PAT was good. Jimtown does lead 7-0 in the first quarter still. The Rochester Zebras kickoff return, come, uh, kickoff return team comes onto the field. Out of shell back deep. Heckathorn as well and Abbott. And a nice move. As Olson gets to the outside, cuts back. Now he's got enough home. And Nick Heck will be kicking off for the Jimtown Jimmies. Again, 7 to nothing here early on here at Rochester High School. Rochester offense had the ball a total of three plays, four if you count the punt, and uh, probably less than a minute of time of possession. Yeah, I would agree so with that. So far in this entire first quarter. Let's just hope there's a lot of nerves and they're gone. Well, let's get some yards now. So Jimtown ready. A little pooch kick. Someone get the ball. There. Bounce. The ball. Rochester grabs it. Wilson, uh, is that Wilson Lee who finally grabbed it? Is it bounced a high in the air? Jimtown very fortunate, or Rochester very yeah. fortunate to uh, keep possession. I wonder if they even know that once that ball goes 10 yards, that's live anybody's football. And I and I said that Heck was the kickoff guy, but uh, Mason uh, Castro, uh, the sophomore, came from his right. A lefty. A lefty kind of pooch kicked that yeah. a little bit. But Rochester didn't even make a move for the football. Yeah. They let it hit the ground and bounce around. And With that wind in the face, I mean, it's going to stop or come back a couple yards. Yeah. It's not yeah. a bad idea. First and 10 for Rochester as they start this drive at their own 33-yard line. They'll go to uh, split back to look again. So Hackathorn comes in motion to the near side. Here's the snap. Pitches out to Beck. West Beck is tripped up and dropped back at the 28. Nice Give him the 29. And Tyler Lundy makes the play for Jimtown. Boy, he makes that four yards deep in the backfield. He made that look easy. He did. down West Beck. So that's going to be second down and 14 now after the four-yard loss by Wes Beck. Right now, Rochester has a grand total of negative four yards rushing for the ballgame. Second down and 14 for the Rochester Zebras. Now back at their own 29-yard line with 38 seconds to play in the first quarter. Bennett comes wide to the near side. Heckathorn split right. Here's the snap. Faked handoff. Hunting steps up. Throws to the right side. It is picked off. Picked off by Jimtown. Goldacre down the left sideline. He's got a wholesale blockers in front of him looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Jimtown. Kistler fell down, and after Hunting let the ball go, Kistler fell down making a cut on his route, and the ball went right into the Jimtown defender's hands, and he took it back to the end zone. No, no black jerseys in front of him. 40-yard, 40 41-yard interception return for Goldacre, and now Jimtown up 13 to nothing. 
Hunting throwing his seventh interception of the year. And, he threw and like you say, Michael Kistler, the intended receiver, but slipped as Hunting was coming through to throw that. Right. And it was picked off with uh, 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. 13 to nothing with the extra point coming. No, yeah. It's going to go for the extra point. As heck, just did get it through. Just did uh, knuckleball that through the last time. And I think, I don't know, we're looking for maybe uh, the Jimtown ball to kick here. So it's 13 to nothing, the extra point coming. Not exactly how the Zebra coaching staff or the fans had this one uh, drawn up to start the football game. Uh, Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away. Uh, that's plenty wow. of leg, but did it go right? Nope, it just stayed inside the upright. 14 to nothing, Jim Town. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Welcome back to Rochester High School. Uh, Jim Town now up 14 to nothing after a pick six. Yeah, pick six by uh, Dylan Goldager, 41 yards. It is uh, hunting seventh interception of the year. Jim Town now leads 14 to zero. The PAT was good by Nick Heck. And so Heck will put the ball on the tee, but the question is, will he kick it? <laughs> Who's going to kick? To his right, about to five yards away from him, maybe a little longer than that, a little, uh, is the guy that kicked it last time, Mason Castro, and that just about worked to perfection for the Jimtown Jimmies, and Rochester got to be on their toes here. They're going to have to find some offense. Heck, high end over end, short kick. Heckathorn takes it at the 16. At the 20, the 25, kicks it out to the near side, trying to get to the near side and turn the corner to the 30, turns it upfield to the 35 to the 40, and then finally ran out of bounds right around the Rochester 45-yard line, and Heckathorn got the corner, outran the defense, and then got it out to the 45, so Rochester will start this possession with 12.8 to play in the first quarter at their own 45. The last 20 yards of that return was all Jay yeah. Heckathorn. He was pulling away from people who had a hold of his jersey, made it to the corner, and just run over people down the sidelines. Heckathorn goes wide to the right side. Bennett split left, short side of the field, split backs for Hunting. Shane is tied to the right side. 12 seconds to play in the first quarter. Hunting takes a snap, hands off to Beck right up the middle. West Beck pushing the pile ahead, gets it out to the 45 yard, or make that the 48, giving three. It'll be second and uh, seven as the first quarter comes to an end. After one, Jimtown leads 14 to nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Back at Rochester High School as we start the second quarter, the first play in the second quarter goes to Hattachelle who carried the ball for uh, six yards, and now it'll bring up third down and one at the Jimtown 46-yard line. Ball in the far hash. Two tight ends for the Zebras. High backs for hunting. John under center on third and one. Here's a snap. West Beck off the left side. He's got a first down as he picks up a couple of yards. Gets it inside the Jimtown 45, down to around the 43. Give him three. It'll be first and 10 for Rochester. First first down for Rochester yep. tonight. But they barely had the ball at all in the first quarter. You're right. Maybe three, maybe two and a half minutes, maybe. First and 10 for the Rochester Zebras at the Jimtown 43. Well, yard line going well, we, to our right or they're out of the zebras we, with the wind we still haven't hit double digits on our play count yet oh here yeah so we had <laughs> a, a three and out and then a interception on the second play Ben and Heckathorn wired to the near side. Quick snap. Hattachel gets it right up the middle. Jacob Hattachel at the 40. Pushes the pile ahead to the 39. Giving four yards. It'll be second and six. 14 to nothing right now. Jimtown leading. One play. Uh, one pick six for Jimtown. Led to a quick six points. And actually it's going to be second and three. That ball didn't get to the 40, uh, 39 yard line. Got to the 40. Second down and I'm sorry, seven. For Rochester, ball in the far hash. Heckathorn split right. Shane tight right, Bennett tight left, Ibax for hunting. And then Rochester jumps. jumps. Michael Kistler, I'm gonna make that Bennett, I guess, uh, jumps, that'll be a walk off of five yards. So now second down and 12 for Rochester. Back at the uh, Jimtown 45 yard line. Second and 12 for the uh, Zebras. Michael Kistler brings a play in from the sideline. 10.25 to play in the first half. Rochester trails the Jimtown Jimmies 14 to nothing. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. Winner of this game will get either the Academy or Peru next week for the championship. 10 on the play clock. Lone back is Beck. Flanker to the left is how to shell. Comes a motion to the near side. Fakes a pitch. Gives to Beck. West Beck shakes a tackle to the line of scrimmage and gets the ball to the 41. So he's going to pick up of about four and that'll bring 
bring up third down and make that the yeah, third down and about eight for the Rochester Zebras. 9.50 to play in the for, uh, first half. Now the Zebras moving towards the east end of the football field now. That wind kind of out of the northwest at the moment, so there is a little bit of tailwind. Not much, a little bit. And you might see John Hunting go to the air here as he'll send two receivers on the near side. Bennett split right in the slot to the right side of Heckathorn. But here's the pitch to Hattishell going to the right. Hattishell slips, regains his footing, and it's cut down to the 40. He didn't gain anything. Gain of nothing. It'll be fourth down and seven. No, as as Too he, many white jerseys in the backfield. And he, I mean, he slipped as soon as he caught the ball. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, the, the plus that pit. High, yeah. yeah. And behind him. Yeah. And so oh. the Rochester Zebras will send the punting unit on. They'll be punting with the win and actually uh, will definitely be playing a field position here. So Rochester will be punting with the wind. It'll be fourth down and seven, maybe. Back deep is Olsen and Goldegger for Jimtown. Remember, Abbott is a quarterback as well. Fourth down and seven. Ball goes to Westbeck, the punter. Gets it off the side of his foot. It's a short kick. Takes a Rochester bounce inside the 20. Rolls down to around the 15. So that's where Jimtown will start this series at their 15-yard line, leading 14 to nothing. You know, we talked about how well coached Jimtown was. This is the first time all season, and we're in week 11, where I've seen a team, when they get away from a football on a kick, they run out of bounds. Yeah. I mean, they get away from the football. You don't have players standing around two feet away from it watching it roll. They they book it out of bounds. Well, it's you know as well as I do, little things yeah. are, the, are, the, are the differences between Absolutely. wins and lose, losses. There's, no, there's a reason this team wins the sectional yeah. 24 out of 25 years. Hobbs goes wide to the right side and the slot to the right is Goldager. Olsen dots the eye for the quarterback Pollock. Pollock under center with five on the play clock. Sets the line with three. Oh, and they all move. And then uh, Jimtown moves early, so they'll back him up five. It'll be second, or make that first and 15 back at the 10. I'll tell you what, the Rochester defense is going to have to play better this series. Uh, yeah. They've been on the field a lot this ball game already, but they cannot allow Jimtown to sustain a long drive. Yeah, if Jimtown puts the ball in the end zone here without we'll, a big play. We won't it, see it the rest of the no, half. No, that's exactly what I was going to say. You're right. First and 15 for Jimtown. Ball in the near hash at their 10. Hobbs goes wide to the right side. Gill is tight left. Also wide to the right in the slot. Uh, to the right for Jimtown is Goldager. High backs for Pollock. Pollock gives to ha Olsen. Olsen going right. is caught and dropped in the backfield. He's going to be caught for a loss of about two. Abbott. Was it? I can't see. I can't see the number. No, it wasn't. Second it was, down uh, and 17 now for Jimtown. Adam Basham. Basham making the stop. Second and 17 now for Jimtown with 8.20 to play in the first half. The Jimmy's leading 14 to nothing. The ball is inside the 10 at the 8. Hobbs goes wide to the near side. Split right for Jimtown is Grove. Olsen and Kern in the I formation. Pollock under center sets the line with three. Gives to Kern right up the middle. Kern grabbed by the shirt tail. Carries the ball out to around the 24-yard line. And I'm not sure he's going to have to. I'm, that jersey was literally that, was almost ripped off of him. Was that McLaughlin holding on to his jersey? He held on to the jersey for five yards. Well, he needed to or he was on a touchdown. Third down and two after a 15-yard run for Kern. It's now the ball is now resting at the Jimtown 24-yard line, third and two for the Jimmies. Seven and a half minutes to play in the first half. Wow, Goldacre goes wide to the right side. Hobbs tight left, Gill tight right. Olsen dots the eye. Kern right up the middle again. Kern pushing his way to the sticks, pushing his way to the 30. Yeah, he's going to get a first down as he gets out to around the 28, 29 yard line. Wow. Second down and fifth, uh, 17. And the Zebras let him off the hook. Rochester Glass Company has been a business. First and 10 for the Jimmies at the 29 yard line. Ball in the near hash, 7 10 to play in the first half. Rochester Glass Jimtown quickly on the ball. Grove goes wide to the right side. Gill tight right. And the other tight end is Hobbs to the left. Left. Olsen and Kern in the eye. Pollock under center with eight on the play clock. Now sets the line with five. 
takes the snap, gives to Olsen going right. Olsen met in the backfield, shakes a couple of tacklers, gets positive yards now as he pushes his way to the 34. He was hit. There, yeah, there's our first problem right there because that's not the first time that's happened tonight. That's the second or third or fourth time he's been hit in the backfield by two or three zebras and he breaks the tackle and gets his positive yards. Yeah, so the yak, he got five yards, but the yak on that play was seven because he was hit two yards deep in the backfield. Second down and five for Jimtown. They're leading 14 to nothing here at Rochester. Hobbs will go wide to the right side. In the slot to the right side is Goldager. Gill is tied in to the left for Jimtown. High backs again for Pollock on second and five. Here's the snap. Kern right up the middle. Kern it spins away from a tackler and gets really close to a first down. They're going to give him four. It'll be second down and less than, or make that third down in less than a yard. Good heavens. Six minutes to play first half. Again, Gentown up 14 to nothing. And this all starts right up front on the line of scrimmage. Again, that offensive line of Gentown getting a three, four yard push. And those backs, boy, I tell you what, when they hit that line of scrimmage, they are at full speed. I was going to say they're downhill from the they're, word go. They're breaking tackles the minute anybody touches them. Third and short for Jimtown at their own 40, uh, make that own 39-yard line. Straight T backfield, two tight ends for Pollock. Sets a club with two on the play clock. Gives off to the uh, – Wilson Lee hits the uh, ball carrier first and drives him backwards, and this, he gained a foot, and he didn't need much more than that, and I'm not sure who the ball carrier was there. Lundy, was that Kern? Or was that Lundy? So they're going to have to bring the chains in. That's a pretty good spot right there, and if that's if that's where the ball's resting, that looks like a first down to me, but they're going to bring the chains in. So it'll be well, – Boy, they're going to stretch the chains and see. That yeah. is going to be really close. They stretch it up, yeah, and that's a first down, down by the nose. I don't think I like that spot. I don't think he got any yards there. Boy, that's a tough spot for the Zebras. He got just enough for a first down to keep this drive alive. With 5.25 to play in the first half again, Jimtown up 14 to nothing. Very, very quick first half here at Rochester High School. And the clock rolls. And one thing that Jimtown does, and I've noticed that, uh, every time that they come up to the line of scrimmage, they let that play clock go down to about, uh, tick down to about uh, two or three before they snap the football. They're not going to allow you to get your offense on the field. You can't score if you don't get the football. That's right. So first and 10 for the Jimmies at their own 39. Here's a snap. Kern right up the middle. Kern carries the ball across the 45 down to around the 46. Pick up of about seven. It'll be second down and three. We're under five minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, Jimtown has already ran the double amount of plays that Rochester has tonight. There's nothing we can do if Hattishell and Bet can't get the ball. Yeah, that's right. Second down and three for Jimtown at their own 46-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. They'll break the huddle to send Hobbs wide to the right side. Goldacre wide to the near side. They got a tight end to the left. Uh, make that Hobbs as tight right. So two tight ends for Jimtown on second and three. Pollock to Kern right up the middle. Kern tries to spin away from a tackler. Still pushing the head, uh, pushing the pile ahead. He gets really close to the line to gain there. I tell you what, the one zebra is not bringing these backs down uh, with a solo tackle. And give him four. No, give him two. I beg your pardon. Give him two. It'll be third and one. Third and one with four minutes to play in the first half. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. And they've got the ball on their own 49-yard line. Well, you keep thinking that one of these times, one of these plays is going to bust wide open big because yeah. they've been that close all night. Pollock with three backs in the backfield on the straight tee, down to nine on the play clock. Pollock sets a line with seven. Here's a snap. Gives to Olsen. Tries the middle. Bounces out to the right side. He's got a first down as he carries it into Rochester territory to the 47. That's going to be enough for a Jimtown first down. Great job by Olsen. That's experience right there. The middle where he's supposed to run was all sealed up. It's all bottled up. He bounces outside and goes to the right and picks up five yards for another Jimtown first down. It's just Olsen Kern, Olsen Kern. It's nothing fancy at all. It's just up the middle every time. These guys are strong well, yeah, when you're fast. When your linemen can get the push that they're getting, why not keep doing it if it's no broke, don't fix it. First down and 10 for the Jimmies at the Rochester 47 with 3.15 to play in the first half leading 21 to nothing. Pollock takes a snap, gives to Kern again. Kern runs into his own man and then slips down right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and 10. 
midway through the second quarter. Uh, Peru and CMA Academies, they are tied 0-0. Actually, give him one, Brad. I beg your pardon. It'll be second and nine. Yeah, the Academy in Peru uh, will be will face the winner of this game next week in the sectional championship. Second down and nine, 245 to play in the first half. Jimtown leading 14 to nothing. Hobbs goes split left. Flanker to the right is Olson. Flanker to the left is Lundy. Lone back is your fullback Kern. Pollock under center. Olson comes in motion to the near side. He gets a pitch coming to the near side. Cuts back inside. Shakes a cut tackler, but not all of them. And Rochester pushes him back to the 49. He's going to lose two or three yards. It'll be third down and 12. Clock rolls at 2.23 to play in the first uh, half. It'll be third and 12 as Jimtown going into the wind. This will be interesting. Yeah. Well, nice job that time by Jordan Schaefer. He pushed that play deeper than I think than what Olsen wanted to go. Uh, he got blocked off. He couldn't make the tackle, but Heckathorn and a couple other Zebras, Wilson Lee, were there to finish the job. Third and 12 for Jimtown. Pollock under center, takes a snap, back to pass, three-step drop, looks left, throws left. He's going to throw it onto the track. That ball was intended for the, the numbers. He throws it on the track, and Jimtown will come in to punt. You knew that was coming. Well, you knew that kind of uh, result from that pass was coming because the play before that, the pitch, even though the pitch was at the re the uh, the back, and yeah. Olsen just about out the wind, just about pushed it too far away from him. Yep, that time he tried to go deep down the left sideline, and of course the wind coming out of the north just pushed that ball a good 10 yards out of bounds. Jimtown's lining up for a punt, but you never know. You never know. You're right. Hobbs will kick. Had a good lot of good kicks in pregame. He stands inside his 40, down to around the 37. Stab goes to him. Here comes a little pressure. Wilson Lee just about got a hand on it, and a great kick. But out of bounds. Goes out of bounds near the 15-yard line. And they're going to give it to Rochester at the 14. It'll be first and 10 at the 14 with a minute 43 to play in the first half. And I guess the only positive right now is Rochester going to get the ball back to start the second half. You're right. The they, got, they got a minute 43 left in the half, and they'll get the ball to start the third quarter. But uh, they've got to put something together on offense. Jimtown has been, you know, their offense has been on this football field almost the entire first half. You look at time of possession, and good Lord, and Rochester yeah. has, has hardly any. And number of plays, our longest drive has only been five plays. They've had 13 and 12 to back to back drives. Yeah. First and 10 for the Zebras at their 14 yard line. Heckathorn split left. High backs for hunting. John under center. Takes a snap, gives to Hattashell. Hattashell leaps the pile at the line of scrimmage, shakes one tackler, pushes the pile out to the Rochester 24-yard uh, line. And that's going to be close to a first down for the Rochester Zebras as the clock rolls with a minute 25 to play. Give him a first down, give him 10, Bradley. It'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at the 24. Kissler brings a play in from the sideline. 90 seconds to play in the first half. Jimtown up 21 to nothing. I make that to 14 yeah. to nothing. How to shell averaging 150 yards per game this year. He's got 15 tonight. Down to 10 on the play clock. Out of the shotgun is hunting. John takes a snap. Bad snap. And hunting falls on it at the 20. So he's going to lose four yards. It'll bring up second down and 14. Clock rolls under a minute to play in the first half. Uh, you, you know, when you're going in a long snap in a 25-mile-an-hour wind, you better make it quick and sharp. And that snap yeah, was pushed. Uh, Beck yeah. was to the right of hunting and probably could have fielded the snap. Well, I don't know if the snap ever got above hunting's knees to begin yeah. with. It was a weak snap and this kind of a wind and a wet, cold ball. Like a lot of guys. Second down and 14. Clock rolls under 30, uh, 40 seconds to play. Out of the shotgun again is Hunting. Back to pass. Looks to the near side. Has ha uh, Heckathorn. And Heckathorn throws it to Christina. Uh, make that Hattishell throws it to, uh, I'm sorry, Hunting throws it to Christina Hughes. And that'll ring up third down and 14. Again, 29 seconds. The weather playing havoc on the passing game. Well, if there's ever a time to try one, is it is it trick play? Or I don't think just so. Just put on the ground? I think Rochester will run it. We, can't, in we can't run. We can't run a dive play right now. How do you, you know? That was the story last week, too. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be third and 14 at the Rochester 20. Rochester in the eye backs. Huckathorn wide to the left, hunting under center. John takes a snap, pitches out to Hattashell, now is. reverses to Heckathorn. Heckathorn has some blockers, cuts it upfield. Heckathorn then grabbed by the shoestrings of the 40. And he goes out of bounds at the 40. 
two-yard line, first and ten for the Zebras. Yeah, kind of a trick play. You're right. I'm surprised yeah. by that, Travis. Me too. With that deep down there, and Jim, and now Rochester will use a timeout. We'll use a 30 as well. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Planning for your future, first and ten for the Zebras out of their own 42-yard line. 21 seconds to play first half, hunting in the shotgun, back to his right. John takes a snap, back to pass. Here comes some pressure, steps up, middle of the field. It is picked off again by Goldacre. Goldacre, another pick tonight. Gets a block, goes to the far side. He's got a lot of room on the far side. Goldacre, spin move at the 50, goes to the Jimtown sideline, and is finally uh, grabbed and tackled shy of the Rochester 45 with six seconds to play in the first half. Another pick for Hunting. Goldacre. Well, that time Hunting's pass was on the mark, but too high. He overthrew his receiver. Uh, he, how much does that does the wind have to do with that? I don't know. Anyway, right into the hands of Goldacre, and he, he runs back across the field trying to, to outrun the defense. And Goldacre was camping there waiting for that ball, too. Yeah. His second pick of the night, the first pick went for six. And right now, Jimtown leading 14 to nothing. We'll have it 14 seconds to play in the first half. And it looks like they will uh, run a play here. As Pollock under center, split backs behind him, back to pass. Looks to the near side. Looks, steps up, out. throws down the near side. He's got a receiver, nope. and it goes out of bounds with 1.1 to play in the first half. That ball goes off the cameraman on the sidelines. It's going to feel good. Buddy. So it'll be second down and 10. And maybe you see this time maybe a draw type play. Well, that's the third pass tonight we've seen thrown down the sidelines that have ended up out of bounds. Yeah, a ways out of bounds. You're right. right. Second and 10 at the Rochester 45 for Jimtown. One second to play in the first half. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. And uh, barring a defensive penalty, this will be the last play of the second quarter. Pollock under center with the eye backs. Two receivers, one to the right, one to the left. Pollock back to pass again. Looks left, steps up. Now pulls it back down. Now rolls to the right side. He's going to keep it down the far sideline. Gets about three yards and runs out of bounds. And that'll do it for the uh, first half. At halftime, the Jimtown Jimmies lead the Rochester Zebras 14 to nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. November 11th, the Rochester Lady Zebras will open their season at Twin Lakes. We'll be there with them. In fact, we'll be there every game. Every season. game. We've got eight basketball games on the schedule in June, including the first uh, Skies game. November? I wish it was June. <laughs> in November. That's out of bounds. And the uh, high kick goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. To finish that thought, we've got eight games on the uh, schedule for November. Six uh, including of them before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Seven girls games and one guys game. Of course, that's with the Culver Cavaliers to start the uh, regular season the night before Thanksgiving for the guys. But uh, exciting times uh, on the way for Rochester uh, athletes. Athletics uh, here in the winter. Well, the Zebra's going to take over in their best field position tonight. Is that right? Yeah. About the 36 or 7 yard line. Some quick scores from around the area. Yeah. Pioneer leads North White 56 to nothing. St. Joe leads Plymouth 14 to 6. Carroll leads Caston 32 to nothing. Peru and McConaughey are tied at zero. And Winnemac leads Whiting 14 to 7. And this one start the second half. The Gentown Jimmy's up on Rochester 14 to nothing. So Rochester will take over here. First and 10 to their own 37. Ball in the near hash. Here's a snap. Hattishell gets the carry. Shakes one tackler, and but not both of them. As Goldacre there to bring him down at the 35. He's, he's going to lose two. two it's going to be second down and 12. And now he's back to 13 yards for tonight for the Rochester Zebras rushing. Well, we talked about time of possession in the first half. The Jimmys had it 15 minutes, 46 seconds in that first half. Rochester, just a little over eight minutes. Second down and 12 for Rochester at the at their own 35-yard line. They're going with the wind. They're going to our right. Bennett wide to the near side. Flanker to the right is Heckethorn. Split backs for hunting. Quick snap back to pass is John over the middle to Bennett. It is incomplete. Picked off now. again. Picked off now by Goldacre. Down the right side. Goldacre already has a pick six. He's deep into Rochester territory and finally brought down inside the... 15-yard line around the 14. I think Hunting made the tackle. I beg your pardon. It was not picked. It was not inter, uh, incomplete. It was picked off by Goldacre, who tipped it around two or three times himself. That's his third interception tonight, and Hunting's 
That ball was thrown behind Bennett, and Goldacre comes up, tips the ball two or three times to himself. He grabs and goes down the right sideline, and now Jimtown in business inside. They're 15 at the 13. So first and 10 for Jimtown at the Rochester 13-yard line, already up 14 to nothing. Olsen dots the eye. For Pollock, under center is the sophomore quarterback, gives to Olsen, and he is hit by McLaughlin and pushed backwards to the 15. It'll be second and 12. He wasn't pushed backwards. He, he was, was turned around and slammed <laughs> to the ground by McLaughlin. McLaughlin let out all of his anger there. So second and 15 for the Jimtown Jimmies. I'm sorry, second and 12 at the 15 for Jimtown. As the ball in the middle of the field going to our left into the wind. Jimtown leading 14 to nothing. Looking to put another score on the board here after another uh, interception for Goldacre. Hobbs wide to the near side. Really trying to seal the deal here. Snap, the handoff goes to Kern, and Kern's driven backwards. Nothing there for the sophomore running back, and Kern, it'll be third and long for Jimtown. Well, great effort by the Rochester defense here to come out in this third quarter. They, they were pushed around quite a little bit in that first half, and so far, they own the line of scrimmage in the last two plays. So Pollock and the Jimmies looking at third down and 12 from the Rochester 15-yard line. I'll look for Pollock to put it up maybe. Third and 12. Straight T backfield, two tight ends for Jimtown. Pollock under center on third and 12. Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Back to pass. He's got an open receiver down the middle of the field. Under throws him. It'll be fourth and 12. And I believe Hobbs was the intended receiver there for Jimtown. Yeah, he had a wide open receiver that broke outside to the uh, north corner of the end zone, but he never even, Pollock never even looked in his direction. He looked towards the middle and threw it towards the middle and short hopped it. Fourth and 12 for Jimtown. 9.46 to play in the third quarter. Again, the Jimmy's lead, 14 to nothing. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him come back and try and run something similar to that. They, Like I said, they had a receiver wide open in the corner of the end zone, and he never even looked at him. Seven on the play clock. Jimtown on the sprint to the line of scrimmage. Split backs with three. Pollock with two, gets a snap off, throws in the back of the end zone, looking for Hobbs, out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. Rochester takes over on downs. It'll be first and 10 for the Z's at the 15. Off Hobbs' fingertips as it bounced out of the end zone. Got to take care of some business here. Yeah, they do. The Rochester offense really struggling tonight. So first and 10 for the Zebras. Uh, actually, they're going to give him to him at the 20. Is that right? 15. Yeah, 10-yard line. My mistake. CMA score in Peru. The winner of that is we play next week, or Jimtown. CMA leads 7-6 seven seven at halftime. Two right outs for Rochester. One to the left, one to the right. Hunting under center. Split backs behind him. Hattishell gets the carry. Uh, is that Beck? West Beck gets the carry. Pushes the pile ahead to the 20, giving five. It'll be second and five. Good hard run for the senior Wes Beck. He's going to get about six. Give him six. You're right. Give him the six out to the 21, second and four. Last possession for Jimtown. They didn't score. Ball now in the near hash. Rochester going with the wind here. Well, if you're Jimtown, you got to think there's no way Rochester's going to throw the football. No, if you wouldn't think. All three passes of hunting that he's completed has been to Jimtown. Yeah. <laughs> has been to Goldager. Yeah, you're right. Been at wide to the left side. Hecathorn in motion, gets it on the jet sweep going left, and he runs backwards, and he is dropped for a loss. And he's going to be tackled inside the 15, back at around the 14-yard line. He's going to lose seven yards. It'll bring up third down and 11. Uh, this is where the Zebras are forced to throw, though. I mean, if Gil, Gil for Jimtown come right through that offensive line untouched and made hunting try and bow away from him to get around the corner, he wasn't able to get away from him. It's third down and 11 for the Zebras. Back at their 14-yard line. Ten on the play clock. Rochester will be on the football. Bennett go wide to the left side. Shane will be tight right. Also in the slot to the left is Heckathorn. Here's a snap. Back to passes Hunting. Hunting. 
then throws the ball in the dirt, a screen. They're trying to set up a screen. Jimtown did a great job sniffing that out. As, yeah, there was uh, all white jerseys around Howdeshell. Even if he catches it, there's nowhere to go. Well, how about Howdeshell there showing senior leadership? He could have tried to force that into to a Howdeshell. Nothing yeah. good would have come to it and just uh, basically put it at his feet into the ground. Yeah. Pey Peyton Manning-esque, and it'll be fourth down and 11. So Wes Beck on to kick. He stands at his two. Olsen and Goldager back deep for Jimtown. Snap to Beck. Gets it away. Nice, decent kick. Goldacre thought about taking it, and it rolls out of bounds right around midfield. In fact, they're going to give it to back at the Jimtown. Nope, Rochester 49. Yeah, 49. Good grief. So Jimtown will start with this football again in the second half in Rochester territory. First and 10 with 8-12 to play in the third quarter, leading 14 to nothing. And they did decide to mark it on the 50. <laughs> Goldacre goes wide to the right side. Tight end left is Hobbs. Gill is tight right. Olsen and Kern in the eye. Pollock, the snap, gives to Olsen right at the middle. Olsen, who grabbed by the shoestring as he gets it across the Rochester 45 to around the 44, giving him six. It'll be second and four. You know, Brad, you hit it on the head earlier uh, in the broadcast where you're, you told us that their, their backs, Jimtown's backs, gets the ball at full speed. Oh, yeah, they, they are hitting that offensive line at a full head of steam. And then give Jimtown's offensive line credit, too, because they've already cleared a three-yard gain before he, they even get to the line of scrimmage. Two tight ends now for Jimtown. Grove, the lone receiver, wide to the right. Eye backs for Pollock. Pollock takes a snap, gives to Olsen again. Gets a block, cuts it outside, cuts it back inside. And there's a flag on the play at the end as Paula gets it to the 41-yard line. The spike coming in from the Zebra secondary. Secondary, so we'll see what that call is. So it'll be a hold on Jimtown. So that'll back him up 10 from the 41-yard line. So that should bring up, what, second down and about 11? Yep. Seven and a half to play in the third. Jimtown up 14 and nothing. All the scoring coming. In the first quarter. So after the penalties marked off, it'll be second and 11 at the Jimtown 49 yard line. Ball in the middle of the field going to our left. Rochester and Knox join the pit. Clock rolls. Hobbs will go tight to the right. Gill will be tight left. Goldegger. Come in and join them. Wide left for Pollock. Pollock takes a snap. Quick pass to the near side. Goldacre has the reception and is grabbed by the shoestring at the Rochester 45-yard line. Good tackle by John Hunting as he picks up six yards, which will bring up third down and five for Jimtown at the Rochester 45-yard line. Ball in the near hash for the uh, Jimmies. That's the near the Rochester sideline. Third and five for Jimtown. Clock rolls. Never broken. Seven ten to play. Mike Campbell sending the play in the third quarter. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering. I'm David Musselman. Travis said it before. The winner of this game will either get the Academy or Peru next week for the championship. Seven on the play clock. Jimtown quickly on the ball. Now down to four. Now down to two. Here's the snap. Olsen gets the carry. Olsen grabbed by Schaefer. Shake Schaefer. Shakes another zebra tackler at the 40. Inside the 40 to the 39. That'll be another Jimtown first down and a gain of about seven. Great run by Olsen. Schaefer hit him behind the line of scrimmage. He shakes the Schaefer tackle and gets it out to the 39 of Rochester. Rochester just not able to wrap up these backs from Jimtown. They're making contact in the backfield, but they're not slowing them down much. Wendy still here at Rochester High School. No rain, no snow. First and 10 for Jimtown at the Rochester 39, leading 14 to nothing. Pollock sets the line with four on the play clock. Takes the snap. Hands off to Olsen. Spin move at the line. Olsen with three zebras hanging on to him. Gets 
from that far side mark. He gets maybe two. It'll be second down and eight. Schaefer on his back. McLaughlin. Also Heckathorn as well. Second and two for Jimtown. Schaefer's 246 pounds, and Olsen still was standing on his feet <laughs> with Schaefer on top of him. Yeah. Youthful optimism that never quits. Ball in the near hash. Hobbs and Groves goes wide to the right side. A tight end to the left for Jimtown. High backs for Pollock. He sets a club with seven on the play clock. Here's a snap. Kern gets it right up the middle. Kern grabbed by the waist and spun down at the Rochester 24. That's a first down for Jimtown. Yeah, Heckathorn on the stop for the Zebras. 13-yard pickup for the sophomore fullback, Kern. And now Rochester make that Jimtown has it first and 10 to the Rochester 24. It's just been the same story all night for Jimtown. It's like we've said. It's no trick plays, no outside. It's right up the middle. Yeah, they're not. And with their line getting the three, four yards every time, Jimtown just does what they want. They're not. Uh, they're not flashy. They're just doing what they do. Oh, there's fumble. a fumble to play, and now Rochester falls on it. Rochester and will grab the fumble. Yep. And the who grabbed it? Is that Schaefer? He grabbed the fumble. So Rochester again. Pollock never really got the snap. He kind of bobbled it when he pulled away and. So Rochester will have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line, still going with a win with 5.41 to play in the third quarter. Again, Jimtown up 14 to nothing. Bennett goes wide to the left side, which is a wide side of the field. Flanker to the left is Heckathorn. Uh, Hattishell, flanker to the right is Heckathorn. Heckathorn goes in motion to the left side. Here's a snap. Beck gets the carry going left. Wes Beck with a blocker or with a tackler on his shoes lunges across the 25 down to around the 26-yard line. 27 will be a pickup of a couple. It'll be second and eight. 14-0. I mean, it's still reachable for the Zebras, but I mean, the, their offenses has to, they have to show a sign of life right now. They've been two players plays, four plays, three plays, and, and gone. So they have to show life and turn the turnovers down and start getting some yards and get a touchdown up on the board. Kessler and Bennett are tight ends. Heckathorn wide to the left side. They're on the snap. Hattishell gets the carry going left. Jacob Hattishell gets across the 30 down to around the 32. It'll bring up third down. It's been slim pickings tonight for not only the Rochester backs, but the entire offense. You're right. And very good possibility with just under four minutes left here in the third quarter. If the Zebras don't do anything on this possession, they may only get one more possession. Yeah. <laughs> and into the wind. wind. You're right. Hunting comes out of the football game. And Abbott is in the football game in the shotgun formation. Well, you know they're going to pass. Brett Abbott on third down and three. On the option, he'll take it around the near side. He's got a blocker, West Beck, and Abbott is cut down to the 36. It's going to be fourth and about one for the Zebras at the 36-yard line. No, he's going to pick up the first down. Oh, he is? Yeah, he is. I beg your pardon. Well, yeah. They needed to get to the 35, didn't they? Okay, give him two. I beg your pardon. So in a kind of like a wildcat look, yeah. Abbott gets enough for a zebra first down. It'll be first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. Hunting under center with two wide outs. Back to pass is Hunting. Looks left, throws left. It is complete to Bennett. Bennett catches the ball at the 46. And brought down right at the line to gain. Give him the 47. It's 11-yard pitch and catch from Hunting to Bennett. And that's the first completion for the Zebras tonight. Back-to-back -back first downs for the Zebras as well. It's their fourth of the night. 4.05 to play in the third quarter. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. Rochester, they're by far their best drive of the night. Bennett split left. Heckerhorn split right. Kissler tight right. Hunting back to pass. Throws again. Throws out to the Bennett. Oh. And Bennett throws it behind him. Olsen just about had that pick for Jimtown. It'll be second and ten. Wow. One out of six on the night. Three interceptions. Behind Bennett. And I think if Olsen catches that one, He's, That's going to be oh, he's gone. There's nobody there but yep. him in the goal line, yeah. Second and 10 for Rochester at their own 46. You can accuse them, Jimmy Blake, so. 14 to nothing, Jimtown. Wow. 3.51 to play in the third quarter. Want to go third quarter, Rochester, if they... Rochester breaks huddle with 15 on the play clock. They'll send Bennett wide to the right side. Flanker to the left is Heckathorn. Shane is tight right. Split backs for hunting on second and 10. 
Heckathorn goes in motion to the near side, gets a pitch coming to the near side. Heckathorn gets small, gets inside a blocker, gets across the 50 to the 49. Gains about five. It'll be third down and five for Rochester. And I think that uh, if he slips that tackle, Brad, he is yeah. off to the house. Well, Heckathorn kind of jumping through the line of scrimmage. And as he leaves the ground, somebody grabs the top of his shoe and pulls him down. I think if he if he doesn't get caught by the shoestring, yep, he's, he's gone. gone. Third and five for Rochester to go two tight ends, straight T backfield. On third and five, Hunting under center, takes a snap, hands off to Heckathorn. Heckathorn, he's got a first down as he pushes the pile inside the 40 to the 39. Great run by the senior Jay Heckathorn, first and 10 for the Zebras. Led by music. First and 10 for the Z's at the Jimtown 39 yard line. 3.05 to play in the third. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. The Zebras this drive have three uh, first downs, and that uh, totals more than what they've had all night. They had two in the first half and three on th this drive alone. I think we'll see the uh, straight T2 tight end look again. I don't see why not. <laughs> Zebras break the huddle with uh, nine on the play clock. Two tight ends. But we've been wrong before. Flanker to the right side this time is Heckathorn. On first down and 10. Beck gets the carry going right, and Beck slips down at about the 38. Give him two. It'll be second down and eight. Two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Beck, a wrestler for the Zebras. Last year went 21 and three. Second down and eight for the Zebras at the Jimtown 38-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Rochester sideline going to our right. Kissel will be tight right. Bennett tight left. Split backs for hunting. Heckathorn the motion uh, in the uh, flanker to the near side. On the end of round, Heckathorn is hit. And Jimtown pushes him back to the 45. But forward momentum is going to stop him at the 43. So he's going to lose five yards. It'll be fourth. And fourth and about uh, 13 and a half yards. A minute 45 to play in the third quarter. Now the ball is at the uh, back. Back at the Jimtown 43 yard line, it's fourth and four, uh, make that uh, third and 14. Hecathorian comes wide to the near side. Shotgun is hunting. Back to pass is John. Looks left, throws left, and it is incomplete. The wind pushes it behind Bennett. It'll be fourth and 14. Well, the ball being pushed downfield and away, and Bennett trying to come back, and they go in opposite directions. Fourth and 14 for the Zebras back at the Jimtown 43. We're continuing to pass the ball, hunting the punt unit? one of yep. eight with three interceptions. So the punting unit comes on. Don't forget the backup quarterback is the up man right in front of Wes Beck. Yeah. And Jimtown not sold that this is going to be a punt. They leave their Nobody defense back. on the field. Yeah. Nobody is back. So Wes Beck will stand back at his 44-yard line to punt this. Brett Abbott stands at, his, at the Jimtown 48. Snap goes to Beck, and we got, and a, we flag. got a flag in the play. And the snap went to Abbott, short. What did I say, Beck? Yeah. Yeah, it did go to Abbott. Yeah. And so we have fake, a flag in the play. The it'll be a delay game. On. It will be. Yeah. It'll be a delay game on the Rochester Zebras, so that'll back them up five. So do they still fake it? No way. <laughs> I don't think you do either, but, you know. You got to do something here. You, would, you wouldn't expect the Zebras to go for it on third and goal from the four either. So fourth down now in 19 with a minute 28 to play in the third quarter. Rochester, again, the punt team on. And the up man is uh, Abbott. Jimtown still not uh, convinced Rochester yeah. going to punt the football. Rochester's a gambling team. Rinsberger wide to the left. Bennett wide to the near side. Goes to West Beck. Beck gets it away. End over end kick. Takes a Rochester hop. Rolls inside the 20 down to the 19. So that's where Jimtown will start this drive with a minute 21 to play in the third, leading 14 to nothing here at Barnhart Field. Beck really hasn't had a very good night punting tonight. Yeah. So Rochester back on defense. Last report, Winnemac leading number three Whiting, 20 to 7. Number one Winnemac leading number three Whiting. Yeah, that's, right. that's a good team, good game of two undefeated teams. Straight team backfield for Jimtown, two tight ends. Pollock gets a snap. 
gives to Olsen. Olsen fighting through the, fighting through the traffic. Gets across the, their, his 25-yard line down to around the 26. A pickup of seven. And it'll be second down and three with a minute to play in the third. Territory back at your own 19, but that would have scored Jimtown almost enough. Jimtown really doesn't care at this point if they score again. They just lined up a bunch of time. They, they've got 134 yards rushing the football tonight, 28 yards through the air. So they're pretty well content to just and, and if they run go, the ball. If they the go ball. down and score, I mean, they, they're going to have the ball for six more minutes, seven more minutes. 48 seconds to play in the third on second and three. Pollock again takes a snap, gives to Olsen again, and Olsen backs his way out to the 28-yard line. It'll be third down and one with 30 seconds to play in the third quarter with Jimtown leading 14 to nothing, and they'll have to run at least one more play here in this quarter. That, one didn't, that play didn't start very well. I think um, Pollock had a hard time grabbing that snap, and on the bobble, slowed down Olsen a little bit. You're right. Third and one on what will Third down and one for Jimtown. As the night goes on, that football gets colder and colder. Straight T backfield again. Pollock sets the line with three on the play clock. Gives to Olsen. Olsen stood up the line. Taken backwards as he did not get to the 30-yard line. And we're going to have a measurement as we go to the fourth quarter. After three, Jimtown leads 14 to nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. We're going to the fourth and final quarter here at Barnhart Field. The Rochester Zebras trailing Jimtown 14 to nothing. And as we uh, start the fourth quarter, Olsen picks up nothing on that last carry. It'll be fourth down and one for Jimtown. And it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do here as it looks like they'll send on the punting unit. All the points scored wow. uh, here for Jimtown in the first quarter. One on a rushing touchdown and one on a pick six. So we'll, uh, make that uh, Hobbs back deep to uh, punt the ball away. This kind of surprises me. Rochester not convinced this is going to be a punt. They don't send anybody back. back. Yep. Hobbs. And now Hector goes late. The punter gets the uh, snap. He gets the ball away, a high end over end kick, and it goes out of bounds. Where's he going? And he goes out of bounds at the Jimtown, I'm sorry, at the Rochester 40, uh, 48 yard, 47 yard line. So that's where Rochester will start this drive. Decent field position, but. Man, Jimtown has had their number the entire night. Yeah, they've, they've been executing uh, everything, I'm pretty sure, just the way Coach Campbell would like yeah, to see it done. This is a perfect game plan yeah. for Jimtown. So Bennett and Shane tight. Heckathorn wide to the right, hunting under center. From the 47 of his own 47. With three interceptions. Takes a snap. Hadashell gets the carry going left. Jacob Hadashell fighting for yards. Not a lot there. Maybe the 48. Well, and the thing is, Rochester has not threatened all night long. They've not even been close. Yeah. Um, the offense has not really produced much of anything. They've got 64 yards total rushing for the night and 75 total yards for the football game, and we're just starting the fourth quarter. I mean, they only had two first downs in the first half, three first downs so far in the second half. It's just been slow. and. Second and eight for Rochester. Split backs for John. West Beck gets the carry, and he is met right at the line of scrimmage. Not a lot there. Right at the line of scrimmage, it'll be third down and eight. 11 minutes to play in the game. Rochester down by two touchdowns. And a big third down and eight coming for the Zebras. Yeah, Rochester not, they do not have a passing game tonight. Hunting is struggling mightily. And now, he's, well, he's, yeah, he's, he's one of eight, and he's thrown the ball three times to Goldecker of Jimtown. So it's, it's not been a Good night for John Hunting in the Rochester passing game. Third down and eight for the Zebras at their own 48-yard line. Back to pass is Hunting. Rolls to the right side, steps up with some pressure. He's going to keep it. Hunting trying to get to midfield and gets into Rochester, Jimtown territory at the 49. It'll be fourth down. And is this four-down territory for the Zs? It has to be this late in the game. You're in the fourth quarter and you're down two touchdowns. You have to go for it. <laughs> Mike decides to go for it. it looks like the offense will stay on the field. It'll be fourth down and seven for the Z's. Ball just across the midfield marker at about the 49 and a half yard line of Jimtown. So Hecathorn wide to the right. 
Last week against Bennett and had a show wide on the near side out of the shotgun hunting. Steps up, throws down the middle of the field, is incomplete. Throws behind Kissler. He and Kissler are on the wrong page, on different pages, I should say. Kissler was running a streak where he Hunting thought he's going to turn around and sit down, but it'll be first down well, for Jimtown at the room 49. I don't think Hunting had a choice. He either throws the ball or he gets sacked. Both corners for Jimtown are crashing hard on him, and uh, he, he held it for as long as he could. He had to get rid of it, and maybe he just thought that was a safe place to throw it where Goldegger wasn't going to catch it. So first down and 10 for the Jimmies at their own 49-yard line. They're on the football. With 10 minutes to play in the game, leading 14 to nothing. Kern gets the uh, carry and carries it out to the Rochester 47. And it'll bring up second down. And at this point, this is just grinded out kind yep. of football for Jimtown. They've got the lead. It's in the fourth quarter. We're running down to nine and a half minutes to go. They could run nine minutes off this clock right. and still not be in our 20. Second down and six after the four-yard carry. Sam Pollock in fumbled the center it. and fumbled the snap. There's the beanbag thrown by the uh, nobody, head official. Nobody making a motion yet. Yeah, no uh, no I movement see. to Rochester ball. But nope, it's going to be Jimtown yeah, Jim Town recovers the, the, the fumbled snap. And just like he didn't lose any yards either. Good grief. It's kind of been the story of the night. Yeah. Uh, it'll be third down and six for Jimtown. Good news. Nine minutes of play in the game. Jim Town up 20, uh, 14 to nothing. Taking their time getting the play yeah. in, letting that clock run. The play just does come in with the 15 on the uh, play clock. They'll break the huddle with eight. Sets the club with four. Pollock under center with three. Here's a snap with two. Olsen gets the carry, shakes it at the shake and bake at the line of scrimmage, carries it out to the 40, and that's going to be close to a Jimtown first down. He made Rochester miss at the line of scrimmage. He looked to go outside. He cuts it back inside and picks up eight yards for a, uh, for a Jimtown first down. It'll be first and 10 for the Jimmies at the Rochester 40. And I would think by far Olsen is one of the fastest backs we've seen all season long. He is quick. First down and 10 for Jimtown with eight. 25 to play in the game. On Saturday night. High backs again for Pollock. Two receivers to the left side, one tight end to the right. Pollock takes the snap, hands off to Olsen. Olsen is hitting the backfield by Hattishell, and he's going to lose a yard. It'll be second down and 11. Well, one official standing on the 40, the other one standing on the 41. They're going to put it down to the 41. Good grief. Are we watching the same game here? Second down in a long 10 with under eight minutes to play in the football game. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. Well, Rochester defense has done a pretty good job of not giving up a big play, but yet they still trail by two touchdowns. Two receivers again for Pollock on second and 11. Six on the play clock. Kern right up the middle. And Kenny Kern pushes a pile ahead to the 45. Good heavens. He picks up about six, uh, yeah, six yards. Yep. Well, Rochester's defense not giving up the big play, but they're giving up an awful lot of little yeah. plays. And those little plays are adding up. Third and six for Jimtown at the Rochester 35-yard line. Coach Zander's key to victory tonight was bat out the trenches, but it's it's all Jimtown. You're right. Well, the biggest play of the night, for, in my opinion, was the 41-yard 40, pick six. Oh, that's, yeah. But yet, you take that off the board, and we're still trailing 7 nothing. Here's a snap. Olsen gets the carry. Grabbed by the shoestrings by Hattishell, and he gets to the 39. It'll bring up fourth down and five. 6.50 to play in the game. Jimtown up. Four 14 to nothing. So you got a little uh, personal interest more so than normal in the girls' season this year, basketball. I, I do, just a little. We, we might have to find a kill switch. <laughs> we might have to, or the delay button. You're right. Jim Town to punt. Hobbs back deep to kick. He'll kick from the Rochester 48. Nobody back deep for Rochester. Here's the snap. Here's the pressure. Hobbs gets it away. End over end kick. Bounces the eight and will go Ooh. into the end zone for a touchback. It was headed towards the coffin corner, but yeah. it did get to the end zone. So the Zebras will start on the 20. So, so Rochester will take over at their own 20. With 621 left to go in the football game and the Zebras trailing by two touchdowns. 
They're going to have to try and find some kind of offense and see if they can't put a score on the board to at least cut the lead in half. And twice. they got to do it twice. Well, yeah, and then you're looking at an onside kick and hopefully yeah. you can get the ball back. 6.20 to play in the game. Rochester on the ball. Ball in the middle of the field. Bennett wide to the near side. Heckethorn goes wide right. I don't know if the Zebras have even been across the 50. Once. Once. Shane, tight right. Eye backs for hunting. John pitches out to Hattachel going right. Hattachel with blockers in front. Cuts it back inside. And, boy, those holes close up so, close up so quickly. He yeah. might have gotten two. No, he might have gotten one. It'll be second and nine. Ball in the near hash is marks him at the uh, ball. That, uh, I should say official on the near side gives him one. It'll be second down and nine. Down to six minutes to play in the game. The Zebra's leading rusher tonight is Jay Heckathorn. He has 25 yards. Wow. That tells you an awful lot about what uh, has been going on tonight. 81 yards of total offense. Yep. Second down and nine for the Zebras. Ball to 21. Bennett and out of shell wide to the near side. Two receivers to the right, bending, uh, hunting out of the uh, shotgun. Comes to the near side. Incomplete at the feet of Jacob Hattishell. Good defense still by Olsen. As if Hattishell does catch that, Olsen's going to be right there to tackle him. You're right. But that wind knocking it down. Yeah. Hunting just not able to get enough velocity on that football to make it worth catching. Uh, you know, get it to an area where somebody can catch it. That last two or three passes have been uh, short. I, I, honey, I mean, Honey might be a little scared to throw it, too. I mean, three interceptions, a pick six. I mean, he, has, he, has, he probably has that in the back of his mind still, as bad as that sounds. Heckathorn wide to the near side. High formation for hunting on third down and along eight. Hand off or a pitch to how to shell. Fakes it to hand off to Heckathorn. How to shell. Second and third opportunities or second and third effort. Gets it across the 30 down to around the 34 and a zebra first down. He faked, the, how to, he faked to Heckathorn on the reverse just like we saw last week as he went the distance of 80 yards for a touchdown. It wasn't a touchdown this time, but it was a big third down conversion. Well, that's the second largest play from scrimmage for Rochester tonight. Heckathorn had 22 yards on the on the uh, reverse, and that time Hattishell gets 12. First and 10 for Rochester at their own 34. 5.15 to play in the game. Hunting back to pass. Looks left. Throws to the near side. And Bennett, who had a, a defender on his back as the ball got there, Hits him in the shins. Yeah, and it was incomplete and no pass interference. Yeah, like you guys have both said earlier, the, just the pass game is just non-existent one, tonight. One completion tonight there for hunting out of 11 attempts and three interceptions. So second down and 10. But, you know, you can't run the ball. We're not having any success throwing the ball. you got to at least give the Jimmies something to think about in the back of their heads to try and open up a running game. Back to pass, little screen, flips it out to Hattishell, incomplete, probably a good thing. Yep. Olsen right there, was going to be right there to tackle him for a well, loss, and it'll Olsen, be third and ten. Olsen probably could have made a play on the pass, and he chose to make a play on Hattishell instead, and he, either way, Hattishell wasn't able to hang on to the football. 5.07 to play in the game. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. Rochester third down and ten from their own 34-yard line. Tisler brings a play in from the sideline. is one of North America's largest processors and distributors of scrap and secondary metal. Well, third and ten, I, I really can't see Rochester going for it on fourth down, so they've, you, de they've definitely got to get it here. You got to. You got to go for it on fourth down. Well, five minutes to play in the game. Out of shotgun is hunting. Out of shell goes a motion to the right side. Here's a snap to John. He's back to pass. Here comes the pressure, trying to roll away from it. There's a flag in the play. Hunting has a first down in the middle of the field. Hunting shakes a tackle at the 40, the 35, the 30. Still on his feet inside the gym town, 25 down to the 20. And all of that means nothing. And we're coming back for a holding. All of it means nothing. Three flags on the play. All saw the same hold. Coach Zayner not happy with that call at all. Well, but it's going to be third down and about 22 yards after it is walked off. The, those well, flags the thrown thing, about two. Yeah. The, the flags were thrown before Hunting even made a move to the sidelines. So the holding was there on the on the initial rush, on the initial push from Jimtown that flushed Hunting out of the pocket. Uh, Hunting doing a good job of, of finding a hole and a little seam down the left side here. But 
unfortunately for the Zebras. It's yeah. all coming back, and then some. One flag, maybe Coach Zander can yell, but there was three flags down there. They all saw something. So now after the penalty is walked off, it's back at the 22-yard line. So third down and a 22 for Rochester. That would have been a 40-yard gain for hunting, and instead it turns into a... And into the red zone, by the yeah, way. and a 13-yard loss on the holding. Yeah. What do you have on for third and 22 into the wind? Two, four receivers, two to the right, two to the near. Out of the shotgun is John Hunting. Back to pass is John. Here comes some pressure. Screen. Throws it out to Heckathorn. Through his oh. hands. Incomplete. Fourth and 22. 452 to play in the game. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. A little screen pass right there. You're just hoping if you can get back to the original line of scrimmage, really, you know, pick up another 10 or 15 yards so that you got a, a decent chance of picking up a fourth down play. Now we're, I don't know what you're hoping for here because nothing's worked all night. So Rochester looking, boy, this could be the last time. If Rochester doesn't convert this, this could be the last time they get the football. Really, I mean, here I think you're looking for a broken play because the last one went for 40. Hunting back to pass. Throws down to the near side to Bennett. It is incomplete. Knocked away by the Jimtown Jimmies. And so Jimtown will take over on downs at the Rochester 22-yard line, leading 14 to nothing with 4.48 to play in the game. It's become an item of desperation for the Zoom. Man. I know that Rochester's tried uh, virtually everything, and Jimtown has had the answer defensively all night. Yeah, well, well coached and a, and a lot of discipline and, and, on, the, on, the fa on the part of the players on the field. And Rochester's played well defensively. They've right, only given yes. up one offensive touch or one, yeah, one yeah, offensive one off touchdown. Yep, you're right. Two tight ends for Pollock. Takes a snap, and the running back Olsen is hit and dropped for a loss. Swallowed as by McLaughlin. Connor, yeah, Connor McLaughlin there to push him back to the 23. It'll be second at 11. 4.35 to play in the football game. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. I mentioned earlier the defense has not given up any big plays, and like you said, they gave up one offensive touchdown on a short field. Yeah. Jimtown got the ball on the third Rochester 33-yard line on that possession when they scored, so it's not been a badly played game by the defense. Straight team backfield, two tight ends for Jimtown on second down and 11. Also, Olsen make, uh, gets the carry and Olsen takes it down to the Rochester 15. So he picks up about eight yards, which will bring up third down and three. With 3.50 to play in the game. Third down and three for Jimtown at the Rochester 15-yard line. Uh, the Jimmies lead 14 to nothing here at Barnhart Field. Do we have an Academy or Peru score? Last uh, Coach Hooker, last text was 7-6, to six, CMA over Peru. Okay. And the winner of that game will play Jimtown at Jimtown. At, at Jimtown next week, yep. What a great idea. Straight T backfield for the Jimmies. And we're down to one on the play clock, and Jimtown will use a timeout. We'll use one as well. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WRLI. Marine with 327 Southern Wells beat Southwood. You're kidding me. 33 to 7. Southern Wells 33 to 7 over Southwood. Wow. Is that over? Yeah. South Adams 26 to 7 over Northfield. Wow. Wabash and Bremen are tied 21 all in the foul. <laughs> they are not foul. You're making that up. 24 all. 21 all. 21 all. Jeez. So, of all the teams. Jeez. <laughs> 326 to play in the game. Jimtown uses a timeout. After their timeout, they'll be looking at third down and three at the Rochester 15-yard line. Some scores, Travis, pass along. Yeah, Southern Wells, uh, they defeated Southwood 33-7. to It's a huge surprise to me. It is uh, me too. Yeah, um, and the other one was Bremen Wabash tied 21-21. Well, Northfield got smoked. And Northfield got beat uh, by South Adams as well. Last report, Winnemac, uh, number one in the state in Class 1A. 28-7 over Whiting. Number three, Whiting. So third down and three for Jimtown. Pollock with the straight tee behind him. From the 15 of Jim, uh, Rochester, takes a snap and gives to Kern. Kern going left. He stacked up right at the line again. He might have gotten two there. It'll be fourth down and one. But more importantly for Jimtown, the clock continues to roll. Now Rochester will use a timeout. 3.18 to play in the football game. Jimtown up 14 to nothing. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI.
Back at Rochester High School, Jim Ta or Rochester uses the timeout. It'll be fourth down and about two for the Jimmies at the 14-yard line of the Rochester Zebras. They'll go back to that two tight end, straight T backfield look for Pollock, who sets the club for Jimtown. Fourth and two. And Rochester jumps Hard count, off. and Rochester jumps off sides. So first down and ten for Jimtown. On the Rochester offside, so that'll move it. First and goal for Jim Tan. First, Yeah, you're right. First and goal from the nine. Sponsored by MSC. 3.19 to play in the game. Jim Town up 14 to nothing. And it'll be first and goal for the Jimmies at the nine yard line. All the points tonight coming in the first quarter. If you turned in late or got to the field late, uh, like in the second quarter, you missed <laughs> everything. Yeah, a ton. All the fun stuff. First and goal for uh, Jim Town of the nine. Pollock takes a snap, gives to Olson. Olson gets small, turns the, turns his shoulders, and carries the ball to the seven. It'll be second and goal from the two. Three minutes to play in the game. A few more finals around here as LaVille beats Triton 15-0, and Carroll beats Caston 52-0. So LaVille will get either number three Whiting or number one Winnemac next week, probably Winnemac. And that score is 28-7 That'll still. be at Winnemac. Second and goal from the seven for Jimtown. Down to five on the play clock. Pollock under center now sets a club with four. Now with two, here's a snap, bobbled snap. Picked it up, gives to Olsen, and he's driven backwards. Schaefer meet him right at the line of scrimmage and drove him backwards. Well, the bobbled snap yeah, contributed delayed. to that. Yeah, you're yeah. right. The bobbled snap by Pollock delayed the timing for Olsen. And and again, it was 2.20 to play in the game. It's third and goal now for Jimtown. Think about the way At the eight as they lose a yard. 7.15 to play in the game. Again, the Jimmy's up 14 to nothing. Brad Thomas, Travis Watchering, I'm David Musselman. Don't forget our first basketball action of the year coming up November 11th as the Rochester Lady Zebras open their season at Twin Lakes. Third and goal from the eight. Pollock with three on the play clock. Takes a snap. Gives to Lundy. Lundy, and Lundy spins his way inside the five to the four, so it'll be fourth and goal from the four-yard line. A minute 45 to play in the game, and Coach Zaner will use another timeout as a 30. I'll tell, tell you what, the girls' basketball team this year, last year, as sophomores, they went 17-5, and five, made it to the sectional finals. This year, they've got some pretty good freshmen coming in this year to join them, that sophomore class, and the rest of the ladies' ease that, uh, you know, I fully expect to see them win 20-plus games this year. Yeah, they very well could. They've got a lot of experience, especially on the perimeter, coming back. Uh, if they could get some kind of inside post moves and or post play, I know Keaton is um, <laughs> Keaton is out for a little while longer, but she her yeah. recovery is is coming along so quickly. She's way ahead of schedule. I yeah. know that Coach Stasiak is thrilled about that. Yep. And, um, Boy, they're going to hit the floor running too. Six games before Thanksgiving, yeah. eight games in the month of November, and it all starts on November 11th at Twin Lakes. And I think then that uh, that Friday or Saturday the, yeah. they're at the academy. Yep. So. Who wants to practice when you can just play? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Fourth and goal from the four for Jimtown. Fourth and goal. A minute 46 to play in the game. Pollock takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to the near side. He's got a receiver. It is complete in the end zone. Touchdown to Gill. So that time Lund Pollock just rolls out. It's just him and Gill. Gill in the end zone. And Pollock uh, throws it out past the outstretch hands of Hunting and Gill with the reception. A touchdown pass to Gill with a minute 42 to play in the game. Put the Jimmies up 20 to nothing. And the extra point coming. Good coverage on the play. 22 yards. just was able to post him up a little bit. The touchdown sponsored So the PAT coming. Snap is down. Or back, hold is down, the kick is away, and it is good. 21 to nothing, Jimtown. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. A minute 42 to play in the game. The Jimtown Jimmy score again. Seven plays, 22 yards, capped off by a Pollock to Gill four-yard touchdown pass. The PAT was good. Jimtown leads 21-0 with just under two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Yeah, 21 to nothing, but that's only the second offensive touchdown tonight by the, the Zebras, or by the Jimtown Jimmies. Yep. I know Coach Zaner is not going to be very happy with what has uh, happened tonight, but 
I, I thought that I thought his defense played really, really well. I think they have too. They they, they have not given up a, a big play all night long. Jimtown has just been very uh, deliberate in their offense and just chipped away all night long. Another pooch kick for Jimtown and the fair catch called for by Rochester and uh, by Kissler. Kissler, yep. And now Rochester will start this drive at their own 34. Well, again, with a minute 42 to play in the game. And I'll tell you what, it's been the Rochester offense that has been the problem tonight. Well, uh, or is it the Jimtown defense? It could very well be. I mean, yeah, they've got three interceptions, uh, one of which they returned for a touchdown. They've held how to shell to 33 total yards. They've held the Rochester total offense to uh, just 93 total yards of offense. So, yeah, it could very well. I guess that's how you could look at it. So first and 10 for Rochester at their own 34. Here's a pitch to Hattachel, fakes a handoff to Hecathorn. Hattachel coming to the near side. And Hattachel still on his feet, shakes a tackler, gets across the 40, tiptoes down the sideline to the 46-yard line. Nice hard run by Jacob Hattachel. Give him 11 on the, on the pickup. So it'll be first and 10 for Rochester at the 46-yard line with a minute 34 to play in the game. Again, Jimtown up 21 one to nothing. To and I would imagine that you're going to see West Beck and Heckathorns touch the ball here one more time before they're done. Hunting under center. John from the 46. Takes the handoff. Pitches to Hattachel. Now fakes it around to Heckathorn. Heckathorn a lot of white jerseys in front of him. Comes back to the near side. Slips another tackler. Now back to the line. Uh, back to the 40. Cuts it back up field. And all that running is going to give him a loss of about two yards. It'll be second and so he uh, went, 12. He went backwards about 20 yards and yeah. managed to come back for a loss of two. <laughs> The revert, the, yeah, the reverse just not there on the right side. He tried to bring it back here to the left. And, and that tells you about right. a minute to play in the game. Rochester's going to end their season at 9-2 and two and do it here on Barney. As Jimtown's going to improve to 8-3 and three and will play in the sectional championship next week at home. And they'll either have Jim uh, Culver Academy or Peru. Hunting back to pass. Rolls to the near side. Now come back. Tucks it. He'll run. Hunting is going to be driven hard out of bounds by Lundy back at the 41 and John just jumps right back up and ready to go it again but he loses a couple of yards clock rolls with 40 seconds three carries on the night fourth and uh, third down and 14 after a couple of yards loss back at the 41 down to 30 seconds to play in the game Kissler brings a play in from the sideline my dad, and I said, well, who's your dad? He says, Jerry. 22 seconds to play in the game. Jimtown up 21 to nothing. Bennett wide to the near side. Heckathorn split right. 10 on the play clock, 15 on the game clock. Out of the shotgun is hunting. John steps up, throws to the near side. It floats out of bounds. It'll be fourth and 14 with 11 seconds to play in the game. That was intended for Bennett. He never had an opportunity to make a play on it. Fourth down and long for Rochester. 11 seconds to play in the game. The bar got a defensive penalty. This will be the last play of the year for the Zebras. Bennett goes wide right. Shane will be tight to the right. Hecathorn is also in the slot to the right side. Down to 10 on the play clock. Here's a pitch going to Hattachel. Going to the right with West Beck in front of him. Hattachel. Gets six or seven yards in the play with 5.5 to play in the game. And Rochester will turn it over on downs at their own 48-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Jimtown, so they'll be uh, in that victory formation. And we'll run out the clock with five and a half seconds to play in the game. And Jimtown's going to knock off the Rochester Zebras by a final of 21 to nothing. So Jim Tan will take the ball, uh, snap the ball once, and we'll go to the postgame show. So Jim Town on the ball in the victory formation. Pollock takes a snap, and there's the knee. The Jim Town Jimmies defeat the Rochester Zebras tonight at home, 21 to nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI.